Hey, what's up, man? Hey, y'all remember that time it snowed in Houston, Texas like twice in the same month or same year? Yeah, I can't believe it either. If I didn't live through it, I wouldn't believe the story myself. So it's so cold yesterday. We were upstairs, me and the wife, we were watching movies and we hear this bang, bang. <laughs> it was this package. The UPS driver hurls it at the door, bam, just like that. And it lands right there. And I see the truck drive off from the upstairs window. She said, what was that? I said, it was a UPS. I guess we got a package. <laughs> it was crazy. So I go downstairs and it's ironic that it was a Bravin box. And um, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Is it Bravin or Braven? But uh, it's kind of crazy because these products right here are meant for the outdoors. And they're, they're meant to withstand a whole lot of rugged abuse. <laughs> Check this out. thousand pounds of crushing pressure on the Braden Ruddy solo. This thing just got destroyed, but it's still playing. And so the fact that he just hurls it at my door and it comes tumbling at my, my house like that, only lends more truth that this is a ruggedized product. So let's just see if it works when I open it up. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, okay, so we got this puncture right here. All right, so this is like, um, this is definitely a piece of it. Okay, so it's sticking out of the box. So that means it can withstand at least the box. I really hope this thing is okay because the UPS man was showing my box all kinds of disrespect. This is the Bravin Ready Pro. All right, oh, and we got the Bravin Fly Sports in the house. Okay, so I'm not gonna review these, not on this video. You gotta wait, check out another video. So we gonna put these to the side. Oh, let me see, it's got some, uh, bubble wrap on here. Thank God, because Lord knows what that UPS driver was doing to my stuff. All right, here's that part that was sticking out of there. Let me get this open. Okay, this is, it's in there, it's tight. Okay, open that up. All right, so, wow. Okay, so this carabiner clip right here, this is crazy. It's like a triangular carabiner clip. You know what? I think this is like a multi-tool. It looks like it could be a screwdriver, like a flathead screwdriver, some kind of saw and some kind of puncturing thing. I can't wait to get that out of there. Let's let's just get into this thing. All right, now you're ready. The Bravin Ready Pro wireless Bluetooth speaker, uh, 14 hours of playtime, waterproof and dustproof, IP68, got some voice control on here, and it's bad boy floats. All right, what else we got on the box? Man, this is a nice box, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I almost don't wanna open it because it's a rock solid box and it's a beautiful presentation. But let's go ahead and get this thing open because I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Slice that open right there. Got some instructions. Okay, push to open, push to open. I saw something on the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can scoot this out of here. I really, I'm really interested in this carabiner clip. <laughs> Hold on, ah, okay. Ah, okay, that is open now, okay, it's a little plastic clip, let's just flip that over, put that right there. All right, so yeah, this is definitely some kind of multi-tool, man, but it's, at the end of the day, it's a carabiner clip that just looks cool. You can probably put it on a strap or something like that, because it looks like there's a little slit right there. I don't know if you can actually open a can with it, but it's definitely a multi-tool, like with a screwdriver and stuff. Maybe it's something you can use on your Bravin, let's see, it's got all kinds of, nuts and bolts on it. Very, very rugged looking deal and it's attached to this base. So let's get this base off of here. Okay, so we got, oh, this is what I sliced open earlier. Okay, so it says slide to open, let's slide it. Okay, got some instructions. Um, you know, I'm putting these to the side, I might need them. I might need, them. hold on. <laughs> okay, we got a carrying strap. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe you can put this uh, carabiner on the carrying strap because uh, it's the same width. So maybe you can slide that on there. Let's put that right here. That way you always have it with you. You got your micro USB cable and an Allen wrench. Okay, what do we need an Allen wrench for, Bravin? Talk to me now. Got your base, base. Okay, twist, <laughs> twist to remove. It's like a little key in here. You twist it, can you see that? Twist to remove, and then you pull, you pull the key out. What does that do? 
Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the base. We're done with the base now. Let's stick that in there. This is like a, it's like a GoPro style. So this will mount with all your GoPro uh, stuff or most of it anyways. You can put this on like your, if you have a GoPro mount on your bike, your helmet, ATV, whatever, you got a, a GoPro mount on. You can actually uh, screw that into there and it sits like that and bam, like you got music on the back of your ATV or music facing you on your mountain bike or something. How cool is that? And I see four Allen screws. I don't need this base right now. So let's go ahead and take these out open this up take these allen screws out of here hopefully they're not too tight nope not too tight that's a cool touch man it oh okay i'm losing stuff let me go get that that's two screws ah 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 three screw ah 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 hey y'all remember the count from sesame street he's count like that it's to creep me out four screw ah 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 one two three okay <laughs> I'm having too much fun. All right, so we got some, uh, let me see, this is a little plastic right here on these little rubber feet. Well, these feet are not rubber, actually, I don't think. I think it's some type of gel silicone material, and it's got some grip. Wow, that doesn't have an adhesive on it, but it feels like it. It's got some serious grip. All right, so let's look around this bad boy. We got some, this is straight up metal, man. It's got like a metal frame around it. This is the, you know what, first of all, Hats off to uh, Bravin. They give you one of the most beautiful, most ruggedized uh, unboxing experiences you'll probably ever have in your life. This is a rugged, sturdy speaker. It feels freaking solid. You got some Braven branding right here on that metal. I don't know if that's like stainless steel. I don't think it's aluminum. Um, you got some of that right here, some of these braces right here and on the side right here. Not sure why that screw is that orange color but you got these uh, these four Allen screws that go in here. You got your power, you got a Bluetooth button, a play button, a volume up and down, I'm assuming that's tracks too. And then you got a, uh, that's a voice control button, then you got your volume minus. And then of course the Bravin branding. And on the front you got a speaker grill and that is, hey, it's a flashlight, you check that out, it's a flashlight. That is so cool. And that's, you double click to turn it on, double click to turn it off. Um, oh. Wait a minute, this is a low frequency bass port. So you got this bass port on the bottom of here so you can let all that thump out. And I can see two drivers in there, man. In here we have a battery button, auxiliary in, a reset button and your uh, three, I'm sorry, and your um, your micro USB input. And I guess that's a charging light. That lets you know if it's charged or not. And then of course you can use this as a power bank. All right, let's close up this flap. Get it nice and snug, waterproof again. And then let's power this bad boy on and get it connected. Let's see here, you press and hold. Look for that light. There we go, okay, we got a sound. Let's see here. Let's play some Red Bone, that childish Gambino. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so is that max volume? Let me see. That was max volume. Wow. Okay, so that was a sample of that. I can't play that too long or else I'll get flagged. You know what, they have an app. Let me download the, um, the Bravin Outdoor app. Hold on. Okay, so here you got the Bravin app right here. It's got some, uh, it's got some different settings on it. Let's, let's play with them. It's got some volume settings and you got your plan. Wow, okay, this thing has some thump to it, man. <laughs> it's got some thump, and it's not really that big, man. My hands ain't all that big, but they're not super, they're not super big, but they're not small either, but it's not that big of a speaker, but it packs a punch, man, golly. It's shaking. Okay, okay. Stop, 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 it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm actually con uh, controlling this from the from the app here. I'm not doing it from Google Play Music, but you can control all this from the app, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go through some other stuff on the app. Got your flashlight on and off, that's cool. You can actually turn the speaker on and off. Uh, then you get some other settings like an equal equalizer. Okay, let's, um, 
Let me, <laughs> I gotta start playing around now. Let me see here. Um, 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 let me go to my music, let me go to my music. Okay, this thing has a bunch of EQ settings on it. Hold on, you got Bravin Outdoor settings. Uh, you got the Bravin Outdoor setting, treble boost, vocal, folk, rock, and bass boost. I'll tell you the best three would be the Bravin Outdoor, which sounds the best, and the rock and the bass boost. Uh, but you know what? This is an outdoor speaker. Bravin says this is the most durable daggone speaker you can buy on the planet. And I'm inclined to believe it by the way they packaged it up. It then stood the test of UPS throwing it at my doorstep. Now let's take it outside and see if it can survive some of these elements we got here in these freezing cold sub-zero temperatures. I'm not an illusion. I'm not trying to add to the confusion. Break your all access codes and abuse. So baby, baby, won't you give me something? Oh, yeah. All right, you can see the Bravin back there just beating up the roof of my car, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, so Bluetooth range is right at about 30 feet. Um, but the sound is actually fantastic outdoors, man. I'm, I'm probably about 15, 20 feet away from the car right now and I can hear the music crystal clear out here. There's, there's a lot of highway noise coming from way over there, but um, yeah, I can still hear the music, it's, it's, it's banging. I like the speaker a lot and I, I really appreciate the durability. I'm not gonna put it through the same kind of test that Robin puts it through, because <laughs> that's insane. But uh, I definitely think the speaker is a good buy, man, for the price. Uh, I'm digging it. Hey, I gotta get out of here, man. It's cold, man. I'll see y'all at the next one.